Hey folks, Bob Reese here with the guides forecast. Thanks for being a Chinook or a Steelhead member. We appreciate you guys. This is your forecast for tomorrow, Tuesday, August 10th. It'll be the last day that it's that you're required to look for fin clips on Chinook. Uh, of course, coho will still be hatchery fish only. There are some coho showing up in the river on uh, today. There was if you didn't catch that in the report. So. Definitely a positive sign, trying to get you guys the sunset here on the banks of the Skippinon River in Warrington. It's kind of the highlight of the day. We had wind from the get-go today, so we had to fight the northwest um, wind everywhere we went. So nothing should really change. Uh, some of your best opportunities are gonna take place at um, the last part, probably the last hour of outgoing tide. I recommend that you still go for um, the red line or the green line on the Oregon side, follow a shipping channel down, try and stick between 30 and 40 foot of water, catch that last part out going tide when some of the Chinook will first start shooting over the bar into the river. And maybe the first part of flood tide, you might catch some along the Chinook wing jetties if a batch of them comes in tomorrow, they're certainly overdue. Um, the other thing, there was uh, a few fish on the bridge hover on the Washington side. Not many fish, but uh, it's going to be another strong incoming push tomorrow. So that is going to be one of the better bets. And then as the tide slows about the last hour, maybe the last 45 minutes, do the upstream troll. There was some fish caught yesterday in the shallow waters above the bridge, more in the middle part of the river, certainly south of the main blind channel and 15 to 17 foot of water. I marked a lot of fish in there today. I gotta believe there was salmon, but we sure couldn't get them to bite. There were some biters taken there yesterday on those shallow flats, uh, mostly on pro trolls and anchovies. Spinners are working too. I've been running um, the spin fish and those are getting bit on a fairly regular basis. They're certainly competing with uh, straight anchovies. Um, and then I finished out the day by crossing over to the Oregon side looking for some biters. We had some good action there yesterday at the top of the tide in the first part of outgoing. And as you might've heard in the report, that's where we got a Chinook. That was at about 5.30 this afternoon. So late tomorrow, if you're gonna do a late start, which I recommend, um, stick it out uh, if the wind's not too bad. And I think the wind is supposed to be a bit blowy tomorrow. So be prepared for that. But uh, the best action is gonna still take place at high tide. We had a long period of time today without a bite on most of the incoming tide or without a fish. I guess we got maybe one, maybe two bites, but long period of tide um, on these strong incomings. It's it's just that way. The, the period of opportunity is a lot more limited on the strong tides than is the weaker tide series. So <clears throat> that's gonna be the case again tomorrow. So your best bet's gonna be the last trickle outgoing tide. That'll be about 9 to 10, 15 tomorrow morning and then high tide which will be closer to 4 30 tomorrow through about six o'clock first part of outgoing so it'll be a late show uh don't waste your time on an early morning start tomorrow i've talked about this a hundred times you're going to be greeted with a screaming outgoing tide you will not catch fish if you start early so don't do the ocean tomorrow a lot of guides have already canceled, a lot of wind. Uh, I think it's a five foot swell at seven seconds. There will most likely be a bar restriction. You will not enjoy yourself. Stay safe out there, people. The fish are coming. Will it be tomorrow?